Hey girl, you look like you need a tiara. Ugh. You guys. <laughs> my look screams catastrophe today, okay? I promised myself that I was gonna wear something bright, cheerful, colorful, and this. This is what I ended up wearing. And then I asked, what was that? And then uh, I just wanted to do a very Marlon Blando eyeshadow look, no particular color. And I accidentally put on pink eyeshadow. I swear. This is pink. Is it pink? I feel like for like a year I was like too sad to do makeup and now I'm like <gasps> fresh as a spring daisy, but I forgot how to do makeup. And now every day I sit down and I try and do this and I just look at these things and I'm like, but what do I do with this? Anyway, you guys, um, I completely forgot to do an intro, so. Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and today we're gonna be talking about a product that perhaps I am only interested in, but I wanted to bring it to you. I swear I saw, you know what? No, I did not see this on TikTok. I almost said I saw it on TikTok. I didn't, I saw it on Instagram Reels. So it's like stolen TikTok. Anyway, today we're gonna be testing out a foaming facial primer. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would a facial primer need to foam? And I'm asking myself the same question. Like why, why, what would the possible benefit of a face primer in a foam? Why? I don't, do you know? I don't know. This product is the Smith and Colt. Sorry to interrupt, but it's sponsorship time. Today's video is sponsored by Vessi. And I am so happy to announce that after years and years of shoe unboxing videos here on YouTube, I finally have a shoe sponsorship. So Vessi makes comfortable and stylish sneakers that you can wear all year. Not only are they incredibly comfortable, like I literally feel as if my feet are walking on soft, flexible clouds every time I wear them. But another super cool feature of them is they are 100% waterproof. Not water resistant, but waterproof. Here are my completely dry socks, you guys can see. Now we dip them in. Ooh. And look at that, like completely dry. It's like freaky. They don't even feel wet. Ha! I feel nothing. My foot is invincible to walk. <laughs> Not if I fall in. And look at that, completely dry. Completely dry sock. Revealing sock number two, completely dry. So if you live somewhere like me in Texas where our weather is utterly unpredictable, these shoes are amazing to just leave by the front door. You can just easily slip them on and off and they're literally perfect for walking in any kind of weather. So a lot of times it will be perfectly sunny when you wake up and then we'll get a nice thunderstorm in the middle of the afternoon. So I can just easily put these on and we can go for for our daily walk and I know if I splash in any puddles, I will not get that disgusting wet sock feeling, which if that has ever happened to you and you've been wearing tennis shoes and you step in a puddle, it is usually an extremely uncomfortable situation that leads to blisters. Thankfully with these Vessi sneakers, you just don't even have to think about things like that. You don't even have to worry about them. The shoe is actually made from something called Dymatex, which is a climate knit material. So it helps to keep you cool in the summer, yet warm in the winter. And they're also sustainably made and vegan. And another thing that I absolutely loved about these shoes is there really wasn't any like break-in period. They didn't give me blisters. The first time I put them on, they were just super comfortable. And the other thing that's really great about these is they are so incredibly lightweight. Like it almost feels like I'm not wearing a shoe. I know how weird that sounds, but a lot of other sneakers I have, I feel like they're mostly meant for like fashion purposes and not so much like actual athletic activities or like walking many miles in them. So they're kind of like heavy, but these, they're just like so easy to jump in, to run in. I have to admit, I don't do that much running but I do do a lot of jumping. So yeah, I have just been loving Vessies lately and I really feel like you guys will too. 
So if you want to check out my latest go-to sneaker, be sure and click the first link in the info box down below. You can use my code BUNNY to get $25 off of your very own pair of Vessi shoes. So don't forget, click the first link in the info box down below, check them out, use my coupon code and save $25. Thank you so much to Vessi for sponsoring today's video and also a huge thank you to you guys for checking out today's video sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. Untouched Skin Brightening Foaming Primer. Yeah, it must be going fairly viral on the internet at the moment because the only place that I see that carries this particular Smith & Colt brand that's like, you know, your Sephora's and Ulta's and stuff is Ulta. And it's like completely out of stock. So I was just trying to see if maybe I could get it on Amazon or anywhere else like that. And I found it on this website called The Neighborhood. Like I literally ordered this like one day at like 3 a.m. and it was on my doorstep the next afternoon by 3 p.m. Their delivery was like faster than Amazon Prime. Anyway, I feel like Smith & Colt does not get that much buzz about their brand, which is kind of sad because I feel like they come out with like weird stuff, honestly, which is the stuff that my soul craves. So I actually only have one other product from the brand, which is in fact a sprayable setting powder. I don't know why, why? Instant Recall Invisible Setting Powder. Anyway, anyway, let's just give it a shake. And this is my face, yes. And I do have on moisturizer, so I feel like my skin doesn't look like that dry and crusty for a true before and after, but we're gonna see. So they do, it seeming like says, what was that sentence? Apply alone or under makeup to prep. Instant Radiance Peach Primer, peach. Now do they mean it's peach toned or? It smells of peaches. Secret word of the day, folks, peaches. So this is my face, you guys. <gasps> I used tented moisturizer today and oh my God, why? Why did I do, you know what? Should I rub that off? All right, now I look like a face that said goodbye moisture. Hello, dry crustiness. Okay, so I literally don't know what I'm supposed to like rub this in with. Like, can I do a beauty blender? I don't know why I never became one of those like really posh people that applies their makeup with a brush. I only do brushes for dry things, sponges for wet things. That's like how it goes in my mind. Okay, for the face we get, oh my God. I was not expecting that. Hi, that looks great. I love it. In fact, just gonna go like this for the rest of the day. It's going great. Did you hear the splat? Maybe not. Maybe not a sponge. This feels... Ooh! It smells good. Also, I feel like this stuff was like $40 with shipping. Ew. If you're like me and you don't like clusters of things, turn away. Okay, because I'm grossed out, but look at that. <gasps> Ew, I've never seen a phone do that before and I don't... I, I hope to never see that again, thanks. <sighs> okay, let's try that again. Although, I must admit, I'm a tad bit concerned because just from that little dribble that ended up on my face, it is burning like hellfire. And why would that be? <laughs> I don't know, but it's weird. So let's just give ourselves a little more face foam, shall we? I'm just gonna go like that. Cause what else am I gonna do, you know? You know what? I'm gonna do a brush. We're gonna be a different person today. I don't think I have the right kind of brush. I've got this one. Okay, ooh, I don't like that feeling. Oh, what is that? What is that? Why? Why, God? Oh, the dribbling. Ew, I definitely did too much. You know what? That's what we see on Instagram though, right? Does anybody else just see? Like, I seen somebody use this the other day and their whole cheek was foamy. It looked like that foaming face mask thing that we did a million years ago where you put, what brand was that? Like Eliza Vecca or something? And you put that clay mask on your skin and then you wait for like an allotted period of time. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's like, like 12 foot of face foam off your face. You know what I mean. Yeah, there is definitely a uh, tint to this. Or is it just the brightening? Is this the brightening? I feel like 
my cheeky is a little red, but I do feel like it's like doing something. Something is happening. I don't feel like I'm qualified to do this. I'm telling you, I'm rusty, dusty, and crusty at doing my makeup, but I feel like a lot of people are probably like that, right? Like, I feel like I did my actual full face of makeup very few times in 2020, cause like literally just why, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna let this settle in for a couple minutes, clean myself up, and um, let me get a closer mirror. Cause I'm honestly just looking at myself in a little viewfinder and this side of my face, it looks like I'm wearing a shade of foundation that's too light for me. But up close, I feel like it doesn't necessarily look like that. I'm trying to feel like what this feels like. And honestly, it just feels like makeup, you know? Cause it is. But I feel like normally a primer like kind of has like a different kind of texture to it. Do you know what I mean? Like it'll feel tacky, like with the milk primer or it'll feel smoothing or, you know, it like blurs the imperfections if it's like a silicone kind of feeling primer. But this I'm just literally feeling, I put too much on, honestly. I feel like I should wipe this off and start over again. But you know, I mean, that's the thing about makeup, you know, trial and error. If you fail the first time, just do it again. You're only one bar of soap away from just fixing everything and starting all over again. I don't know why I think just like rubbing this brush on my face. Is this why people apply makeup like this? Cause it just feels so soothing. <gasps> it's like I'm getting like a little massage right now, but it's just myself and a makeup brush. I've still only done half my face, but I'm gonna let it settle into the skin. And um, you know, we'll see, we'll see if I feel any change. All right, you guys, I did just film a TikTok. <laughs> and so I honestly just had a lot of fun just squirting the product everywhere, trying to give myself like a foaming beard. I think I ended up looking like the Sasquatch from the Jack Lynx commercial. So I think I really did a good job with this product today. Anyway, on a more serious note, I think that it does overall like brighten the skin. Well, this says primer too. Oh my God. And now it's covered in face foam. Anyway, this is a primer and setting spray from Dior. It's the um, Air Flash Radiance. I love using this product. Usually I just use it in like areas where I highlight and like the center of my forehead, anywhere I wanna like bring brightness to. And this kind of reminds me of that. So probably in the future, I would apply this just to like selective areas of my face versus kind of like all over my face, even though that is exactly how I saw it used on Instagram Reels, which is why it appealed to me. Like I do just feel like, you know, that is what social media product using is these days. I feel like it's always people taking products and using it in extreme ways, like just that are so like eye catching because that's the same that happened to me. You click on it and you're like, what is this thing? Like, oh my God, I want to try the new blush hack where people are applying like cream blush all around their face. Have you seen that yet? Cause it's another like trend that's going around. You know what? I just feel like that is a really like extra excessive way of applying your makeup. It might not be like <laughs> the quickest route to get your makeup done. It might not be the most practical, but it probably is gonna be a lot of fun to do that. It feels like the more time that I'm wearing it, like the product does seem to be like absorbing into my skin. Other than that, I feel like I don't really have anything to say about it except for and I mean, obviously like I'm just not using the product as directed, right? But I feel like when I squirt all the bubbles on my face and don't immediately start to blend them out, I don't know why, but it starts to really burn my face. And I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see, but there is like a little bit of redness under here. But I mean, once again, you know, you're not just supposed to squirt foam all over your face and like leave it like that and take 75 thumbnail options. So 
now that it's blended out, I'm not feeling any irritation or burning. So I think it's just like something, I'm about to say something dumb like carbonation or something. I don't know what ingredient is in these products that causes them to foam. What on earth does this say? Protect from sunlight, keep away from heat, use only as directed, don't smoke it. Okay. Seems like pretty easy instructions to follow. I feel like I used like half a bottle already with my shenanigans, but you know, once again, I had fun and I don't regret it, but look at me. I have to like change clothes now because I got Radiance Foaming Primer all over the makeup drawer, all over my shirt. I look like a mess. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of light foundation and basically like some red lipstick and see if I can fix this eyeliner situation that's going on here. And then I will check back in and I will report to you guys and we can see what it looks like when I'm done. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, um, I'm just gonna need for y'all to pretend like I don't have any eyeliner on today because that's how catastrophic this turned out, you guys. Like, I feel like I just committed every cardinal makeup sin that there is to me. I poked myself in the eye with the mascara wand. I booped myself on the nose with the mascara wand. I accidentally picked up this brush to put on gel eyeliner. Like, it's like I just came from another planet today and completely forgot how to do my makeup. But overall, you know, through the power of filters and whatever else, I'm sure that my makeup looks like, okay, you know, I feel like I could go out and live in this. I feel like I could film another TikTok in this. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like it's that bad. And maybe somebody out there is laughing at me right now, but hey, I can't hear you. Overall, I think my look is livable, <laughs> except for the fact that like now, this eye is like, oh my God, wanting to water so bad. Y'all, I wish I could get my eyelashes tinted again. I've only done that once in my life and I actually did it several years before I even had a YouTube channel. And I swear it was kind of like one of the worst like cosmetic choices I've ever made in my life because it made so many of my eyelashes fall out. So it was like good on one hand because I just woke up and every day I looked like I at least had like a light coat of mascara on, but I also just would wash my face and then my eyelashes would just wash out too. And I would have a handful full of soap and eyelashes. So yeah, I don't think I'll ever do that again. <laughs> but ugh, the struggles of mascara, you guys. So uh, yeah, I forgot what the hell was this video about? Oh yeah, this stuff, this, look at that. Doesn't that look so cute sitting on my vanity like that? Yeah, overall, I do feel like my makeup looks like more radiant, more glowy. I feel like I forgot to mention earlier, but it definitely does have a tint to it. And there's still like a dollop of it down here. When I was like wiping off the excess and everything, like you can see it here. <laughs> on my washcloth. So I think that they definitely mean like it has a little bit of a peach tint and it's also brightening. So yeah, I feel like I definitely will continue to use this product. I like it. And I feel like I have to stop like doing this stuff for comedic effect where I just like squirt it all over my face. I mean, obviously I'm just being silly. I'm having fun. You know, that's what I like to do. Overall, I do feel like it does what it says it's gonna do. It is fun, it is different. And you guys know me, I love makeup products that are different, that are weird, that stand out, you know? And I feel like in today's makeup world, like now more than anything, I feel like that's kind of what maybe people are looking for. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we've all seen like kind of the same products over and over and over again. And so what really gets me excited these days is the brands that are like stepping out, doing something that is like really, really different. And I 
I'm gonna go try and fish all the mascara out of my eye. <laughs> but anyway, I would love to know you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I don't feel like it's like a life-changing product, but I do feel like it's good and I feel like it does what it says it's gonna do. There is my two cents. And uh, thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Or you can follow me on TikTok here at Graveyard Girl. Same way it's spelled here. And uh, I love you guys so, so much. And I will be back again very, very soon. Bye.